Hello everybody and I hope you're having a fantastic day and in this video I want to talk about the monster step up spawn that just came out. If you watched my previous video you would already know about the monsters and everything surrounding them. The only one you should even kind of even consider looking at unless you need a 37 cost for battle score or perhaps maybe these for gear score or awakening material is darkness for player versus enemy. She would serve as a good tanky monster and that was legitimately it. The other monsters I wouldn't say are all like completely useless. Arc Priest can serve as a decent healer. Most of its uh, abilities are around healing and making sure your team is not damaged or with any status elements. This one's decent. It, it like reduces stats by 50% and cast awakening on yourself. But for the most part, the most useful one is legitimately one that you would be considered good on an occasion, and that is literally Crusader Darkness, and that's the funny thing about it. So, anyways, with that being said, like these monsters are not all too unless you really want the monsters, perhaps say, like this is a like anime you absolutely love. You would love to have the monsters just because, or perhaps you want um possibly easy i'm not sure depends on how much gems these will cost possibly easy infusion material not fusion material my bad my bad my bad but um <laughs> awakening material absolutely you could do this so anyways let's get to it and everything surrounding how it's actually going to play out okay so if you actually look at all like the all of the step ups the total price is actually going to be 50 plus 50 equals 150 plus 100 well 100 plus 50 equals 150 then you add 20 to that that's 70 10 to that is 80 and don't even hit me with the save 15 gems get out of here bro you're not even spawning 10 times what you mean boy i better be seeing rates i'm not seeing rates 18 <laughs> What do you mean? Face 15 gems. Yo, you see this, guys? You see, and gals, you see this? This is crazy. <laughs> they lying through their teeth right now. I'm not even going to lie. But anyways, moving on from that, I'm not going to get hold up on that. Need to make this short for you guys and gals. Um, okay, never mind. See, I'm seeing one guarantee SSR monster, so it's not as big as a ripoff as i originally thought it was but it's still considered like it's only one ssr monster guaranteed it could be legitimately anything and that's one of my issues unless like they guarantee a certain cost i don't think they're guaranteeing a certain cost whatsoever um uh if i'm wrong you could comment that below i'm not seeing like any guarantee within cost that's still a really expensive spawn this is stupidly expensive for monsters that are not even worth jack squat besides legitimately and when i say legitimately i mean legitimately almost awakening material of course like said darkness could be used occasionally thanks to her ability she's a pretty good tanky monster um other than that though these would serve as good infusion materials or collectibles because you might like to clap and that's literally it i don't see these being worth at all for the price they are 180 gems unless you really like the collab you want to show some loyalty even though this game is a disloyal game so that'd be kind of ironic but it's your choice it's not mine i can only suggest and that's pretty much everything surrounding the spawn and everything around it I don't know why they say save gems. You're you're not say it's 180 gem step up spawn a team. What you mean? <laughs> Saving gems. Save 15. Save five. But yeah, it's so expensive. It is stupid. But if you do do it, that's what I gotta say about the 37 cost monsters and everything surrounding it. It's I personally just don't find it worth it whatsoever. Anything surrounding that scenario and situation. So yeah. Thank you for tuning in, thank you for watching, and I hope this helped out. This is the Azeroth, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.